AKG supplements in a human study reversed biological age by 8 years, and in mice, a 2020 study showed a 16.6% lifespan increase. So let's have a deep dive into AKG or alpha-ketoglutarate to see if these claims are true. AKG is crucial for the Krebs cycle, but as we age, our levels of AKG gradually decline. So the theory goes that if we restore our AKG levels, we can support our metabolism and reduce oxidative stress. A sound theory, but there is a problem. AKG has a very short half-life, meaning it's rapidly broken down into amino acids such as glutamine. And because the remaining AKG is a weak acid, it cannot get into the cells where it can support the Krebs cycle. So far then, we've got a supplement that is rapidly broken down and cannot get into the cells to support our metabolism. Those are big problems. But maybe there are other factors at play. If the human studies clearly show a benefit, then although we don't fully understand how AKG is providing those benefits, a strong case could be made to use supplements, especially when we can use sustained release technology to prolong the time that AKG has to work on our body. If you're enjoying the video so far, please consider supporting the channel on Patreon, now starting with that age reversal paper. It was a retrospective analysis of DNA methylation age. Retrospective means we're looking in the rearview mirror to see what happens to the people that took AKG supplements. So it's not a randomized controlled trial, meaning that there are many other factors that can skew the results. Were the participants simply eating healthier, exercising more, or improving their sleep, and that's the reason for these positive results, and it had nothing to do with AKG? We simply don't know. So we cannot conclude that AKG supplements had anything to do with the results in this paper, particularly because there's no comparison group. Ideally, we would be comparing one group that took the AKG supplements and another group that didn't, and seeing what differences there were between those two groups. Furthermore, in good studies, another lab should be able to take those exact same methods and then replicate those results, but we cannot do that with the study here because the algorithm that was used to measure the DNA methylation is not available. Finally, this study was sponsored by a company that sells AKG supplements. The next claim is that AKG can help strengthen our bones and we can see this through improved bone mineral density. Let's have a look at the paper. It compared calcium alpha ketoglutarate to calcium alone, and while there was an improvement in bone mineral density, there was no significant differences between the alpha-ketoglutarate group and the calcium group. All we can say is that there's a trend towards improvement, but nothing concrete. Next is a claim on improved exercise capacity. In 2012, a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial concluded that AKG supplements improves exercise tolerance and training effects. But there is a massive problem with this paper. The placebo group, they trained significantly less compared to the AKG group. So are these results simply reflect that the AKG group trained more and actually had nothing to do with the AKG supplements. We don't know, particularly because a second study showed that AKG supplements had no effect on strength, and a further 2016 study on muscle performance was retracted. As of right now, the evidence does not support the idea that AKG supplements improves exercise capacity. It also doesn't seem to reduce muscle breakdown or improve protein metabolism. Finally, the clinical guidelines recommend against using AKG supplements because the clinical trials in burn patients failed to show any clinical benefit, and a meta-analysis of three randomized trials found no difference in death rates. To summarize, AKG supplements are rapidly broken down and cannot enter our cells. The human research isn't particularly convincing, however there doesn't seem to be any safety concerns in these studies. So it's not a supplement that I warn against. If someone is taking AKG supplements and they're seeing a benefit, that is great. But equally, it's not a supplement that I would recommend. And after looking at all of this research, if you do want to go for alpha-ketoglutarate supplements, there are a couple of options. We've got Rejuvent, Pro Health, and Do Not Age, and I've got affiliate discount codes in the video's description. And if you are interested in a supplement that I do recommend, make sure to check out this next video here on Creatine. A massive thank you to DoNotAge.org for their $10,000 donation to my rapamycin study. They are a health research organization, and to benefit from their ingredients as well as a 10% discount code, check out the pinned comment.